Hey guys, happy Halloween. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to do this creepy marionette doll, scary doll makeup, I guess it is. I'm like looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, who are you, Rachel Yarmish? Like, I'm even creeping myself out. So anyway, I know that this tutorial will be going up after Halloween and I hope that you guys all had a really good Halloween yourselves but I wanted to film the tutorial since I was getting ready anyway and you can always use it for next year when I saw this costume online it was just a simple pink dress but it had this kind of like cool headband that had the strings attached I knew that I could do really creepy doll makeup and who doesn't love little creepy doll makeup so anyway, I know that there's other tutorials up there for marionette doll. Obviously, everyone kind of has their own twist and take on it. So I kind of looked at some of those videos to get my own inspiration. And anyway, hope that you guys enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah! Bye. Welcome to the tutorial. So we're just going to use a lighter foundation all over to create a really porcelain base. And I would go with one or two shades lighter of your skin and just kind of buffing that out all over the face. And then I'm going to go in with a concealer and just try and cover up my eyebrows the best I can. My eyebrows are pretty light, but if you have darker ones, you might want to go in with a lighter shade. And then just setting that all out with some setting powder. Next, I'm just taking my hair and some loose curls and um, creating sections for a low pigtail look. And that's pretty much it for the hair. Next, I'm going to go in with a jumbo white eyeliner from NYX. This is in the shade Milk. I'm going to line my waterline and then just extend that color down into a sort of like a half moon shape under the eye. And that's going to create the illusion of a much larger doll-shaped eye. So once that's done, I'm just going to use a basic black eyeliner. The sharper, the better to line the perimeter of that shape. And then I'm just setting that with some white eyeshadow. Next, I don't want anything too dark on the eye, so I went in with like a gold color. And just to add some depth, I'm going to go in and with a little bit of a darker brown shade in the crease just to add a little bit more dimension. Um, but again, I wanted to keep uh, it kind of soft since this is supposed to be doll makeup and didn't want anything too dramatic there. And then I'm just going to go in with a crease brush and just kind of blend that all out. And then I'm just taking two uh, sets of lashes from NYX. I thought it worked well since there were already two sets on there. And I'm going to put that in the crease of my eyelid. And that's going to create almost like a second lid up there and make it more doll shaped. And I'm taking the other pair, which is a shorter pair, and just putting that hiding it kind of along that black eyeliner perimeter that we drew under the white. And I thought that this shape works pretty well. Then just going in with a ColourPop blush in a bright pink tone, keeping the color mainly on the apples of my cheeks. I just wanted to create a girly glow. And that's pretty much it for the cheeks. I'm just kind of focusing on the center of the cheek. Then I'm going to go in and create like a heart-shaped um, line I guess line on my lips and I'm focusing that in mainly the center of the lips to create that shape and I started with this like bright fuchsia and then I kind of go in later and change the color but for now I'm just going to go in with a, a concealer and clean up the shape by going out on the outside of the lips um, like I said to really emphasize that heart shaped outline in the center Okay, next, this is the creepiest part, is I'm drawing in new eyebrows. The sharper the shape, obviously, the more dramatic the look, and you can get really scary with this. I kind of kept the shape of my eyebrows and just kind of wanted to make them sharper, so I'm just going slightly above them. You can get really crazy with the shape, but that's just what I went for. And then I'm also extending that line down um, from the outer corner of my lip, all the way to the bottom of my chin to give that marionette doll look. 
Then just going in with a brown uh, eyeliner and just creating some freckles to make myself even appear younger and girlier. And the freckles add a cute little touch. And that's pretty much your completed look, guys. So hope you enjoyed. Now you're ready to go out and be a puppet on some strings and freak everyone out. Thanks for watching.